Question 22, the final question, and a fabulous one it is. The diagram shows a hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, E, F and C, B, E, D are congruent parallelograms where A, B equals B, C equals X centimetres. I'm just going to write that in. So A, B and B, C are the same length. P is a point on A, F and Q is a point on CD, such that BP so BP and QP are 10. Let's put 10 on the inside here. Given that angle ABC equals 30, so that would be the bigger one behind the black lines, Prove that the cosine of PBQ is 1 minus 2 minus root 3 over 200 lots of x squared. So I'm going to draw the two triangles out separately so I can see them. So on this page, I've pre-drawn myself two triangles to make everything a bit clearer. On the first triangle, I'm putting A, B, C. I know these lengths are x and the angle at the top is 30. On the triangle over here, I'm putting P, Q and B. I know these lengths are 10 and this whole question is about working at the cosine of this angle up here, P, B, Q. Now, one of the key things in this question to recognize is that the length AC here, which I'm going to call Y, is the same as the length PQ. You see that from the diagram. So those two are the same length. To prove that the cosine of PBQ is this expression, I need to know the formula for the cosine of an angle. So if you don't know your formulas when you walk in, you're really going to struggle on this question. It's hard enough as it is without not knowing your formulas. So there's a formula for that question. I just need to put the right letters in. So it's, rather than cos A, it's the cos of P, B, Q. Um, B squared, well, Really, we keep the letters opposite, don't we? So the um, this 10 here is going to be little p, and this 10 here is going to be little q. So I'm going to have p squared plus q squared. I've called that y minus y squared over 2pq. And let's just put some numbers in. Go back to blue now. So that's a formula you have to know. So for the cosine currently of P, B, Q, because I know it's going to be 1 minus 2 minus root 3 and so on. P squared, well, 10 squared plus 10 squared minus Y squared all over 2 times 10 times 10. When we get to this point, I hope you can see how important it is I need to work out y, so I can square it. Once I have that, it should simplify to this, and I need to work out y in terms of x. So let's come back to this other triangle. Again, I'm going to use the cosine rule to work out the length of y. And you may remember that the cosine rule for a length is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So because I want to work out y, I'm going to have y squared equals, well it's the two x's, x squared plus x squared, minus 2 times x times x times the cosine of 30. Now, as I tidy this up, 
So y squared. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 2 times x times x is 2x squared. So it's minus 2x squared cos 30. Now I need to know what cos 30 is because it's clearly been simplified into the expression. Even in the non-calculated paper, there are some um, trigonometric ratios you need to know. And if you didn't know that, um, one of the good ways of remembering them is to learn this little table. So I've got sine and cosine. All of them are always over 2. And it's always a square root. And I could have it for 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60, and 90. And it just goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And I want the cosine of 30. So cosine of 30 is here, look. So in place of cos 30, I'm going to have, so I've got 2x squared minus 2x squared times root 3 over 2. Substituting root 3 over 2 at any point picks me up a mark. Reaching this value of y squared also picks me up a mark. Now I'm not going to bother square rooting it and getting y, because I don't want y, because in the formula over here, it wants me to square it. So there's little point squaring it, square rooting it to then square it again, we're back to where I started. So I'm now going to take my value of y squared and put it into this expression. So I need to put it up here because I'm running out of room a little bit. So I've got cos p b q equals now 10 squared plus 10 squared is 200 minus y squared so it's minus 2x squared minus 2x squared lots of root 3 over 2 and that's all over 200 2 times 10 times 10 and I now have my third mark. This should hopefully tidy up quite nicely. So let's have a look. I'm going to separate this into two fractions so I can see how, how, how I can get my one. So I'm going to have 200 over 200 minus 2x squared minus 2 x squared times root 3 over 2. And I've got to start tidying this up a little bit. So I'm going to have cos p b q. 200 over 200 is 1. So I've got the 1 I need. Minus 2x squared minus 2x squared lots of root 3 over 2. Now here I've got 2. Let's go look at this bit here. Um, if I do it down here, I've got 2x squared times root 3 over 2. Well, those 2s can cancel out. So I'm going to have 1 minus 2x squared minus um, x squared times root 3 over 200. And we're getting really close to what I need. Uh, 2 minus root 3, oh, they've just factored out the x squared and put it on the end. So to finish off, I'm going to factorise out the x squared. And I'm going to be left with 2 minus root 3 over 200 lots of x squared. And it's got a little bit messy at the end here. But there's my answer. That would pick up the final mark, the answer here. And the fourth mark came when you successfully put the value of y into the expression. Really complicated question.
probably worth watching a few times, but well done if you've got this far.